can see here that I've got these uh, cleaning products. So these are from Instar Paints. I've used quite a few of their paints before, uh, but we have here the Soap Plus Deep Clean, the Soap Plus Cleaner, and the Soap Plus Conditioner. Uh, and the plus just indicates, so um, Instar do a range of kind of tools to help painters, and that's denoted with the plus. So I also have some water plus here, which I think this, this probably originated it. So this is water just with a few extra things in it to help the properties in terms of the flow of paints, things like that. But so today I'm going to be looking at these. And, and as I say, I did have a quick look at them on a stream earlier in the week. Um, and I think I just kind of, uh, I just followed the really brief instructions on the pots and I didn't look up any more than that. And it, it had a little bit of effect, but but nothing huge. Um, but the, the claim of these is that they can bring really kind of knackered old brushes back to life. So I've got a few different things here and I'm going to give these a deep clean today. So you can see I've, I've kind of got a variety of things here ranging from, you can see this this brush, which is just caked in paint around the ferrule there. Uh, the end of it's not too bad, but the, <laughs> the feral area is looking horrendous. Uh, I've got a dry brush because they're always in bad states. So we'll see how it does with that. And we've also got one here that's basically just solid. You can't, you can no longer move the bristles really. So those are going to do the big tests. And I've also got a couple here that are kind of, they, they've got a bit of paint in them, but they're not in bad shape at all. So we'll see how they work with those different ones. And as I say, I'm going to go for a deep clean because those are the ones, that's the one to use if your brushes have caked in dirt on them rather than the things which are kind of, uh, yeah, just, just kind of a bit fresher. So we'll open this up, the deep clean, and you can see it's kind of, well, you, it's a bit hard to see, but there's, it's kind of gelatinous. Let me see if I can sort some lighting out a little bit. Um, yeah, so it's, good morning, welcome. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's kind of gelatinous. So we're going to give this a go. So what it says is you dip the brush in and then you work it around on a flat surface. So I've just got an old, this is what I use as a dry palette actually, but it's just a ceramic tile. Uh, so I'm going to dip the brushes in like this, get plenty on there and then kind of work it in a little bit. And then I'm going to leave it to sit. Oh, I'll tell you what, actually, it's already starting to bring some color out. <laughs> there you go. It, it does look a little bit like yogurt, but you can actually see that it's kind of, clear or slightly white in the pot but you can actually see that there's already just starting to be a little bit of ink a little bit of paint coming out of there uh, this was one of my very dirty brushes so you would expect there to be quite a bit coming but I, all, what I want to do is is just kind of work this around a bit so that it actually gets into the bristles um, particularly where a brush is kind of uh, crusted up a little bit it can be hard to get it actually into the or you can see there that it's kind of uh, leaving a bit of uh, dirt on there but there you are so we'll kind of work that in and then we'll leave these I'm going to do this with each of the brushes in turn just work some of this into the brush head and then leave it so then we'll move on to this as I say this is a dry brush so this is in a pretty horrible state so let's um, just kind of again work this through try and get some of it into the hardened bristles and also we want it kind of up towards the ferrule the kind of metal bit at the top because that's where the real damage to the brush is done if paint gets in there and dries which is kind of inevitable really with with all brushes um, but you don't want that long term because that's where the real damage to the brush occurs so again we've got that kind of plastered there it might be that this takes a, a couple of goes but as I say you can already see this time that the paint is coming out so I think we're going to have a, a good effect here. This is the one that's so solid, the bristles don't even really bend. So this is going to be a tester for it. Let's get that really nicely in there. I'm just using the stuff from the lid because there's there's some there. I think inevitably in transit, these things get a bit battered around. Some ended up on the lid. So it saves me particularly dipping these really dirty brushes into that really nice um, fresh stuff there. So again, same job as before just kind of work it in and unfortunately because these brushes are so hard it does actually almost need a bit of pressure to kind of break the solidity of the bristles a bit but we've got that in there that's definitely uh, uh, penetrated the, the bristles a little bit yeah, it definitely doesn't look like yogurt once it's got some of this dirt in it but actually I, I'm really impressed already you can see that the the level of dirt coming off these um, so those are the really uh, the uh, the really dirty ones and I'm going to do it also with some which are just well, they have some paint in but they're not not too bad um, yeah exactly you worry about getting the cleaning product dirty it's a slightly strange uh, 
feeling, isn't it? But there we are. Right. And again, we'll just work it through. So what I'm going to do is I'll finish these five brushes and then I'll leave these half an hour or something while we do other things on the stream and then we'll come back and visit it again and see how well they've worked. Um, I have been, as I've, I've mentioned before, I, I am really impressed with the Instar paints. So I, I when they uh, were making claims about these cleaners, I definitely wanted to test them out myself and see how they worked. I think they've at least earned that with the good job they do on their paints. So we'll uh, we'll give them this test. Oh, one of the brushes has just gone rolling across my desk. But that's fine. This one, I think, was the cleanest brush of all starting up. So, yeah, that, that hasn't, so far, hasn't really changed the colour of the, uh, the cleaning product. So, yeah, that one was uh, relatively clean already. But what we can do with these is uh, they, they get a nice deep clean using this product. And then, because we've also got the conditioner here, it does say once you've used the deep clean, that can actually remove some of the kind of natural oils on the um, on the uh, bristles. So you then want to use the conditioner, uh, which I also have here. Um, and I will say, I mean, I guess you would say that as a company that once you've used one product, you should use another product. But honestly, I mean, I think these would cost me one pound seventy nine each. So it, they're not expensive by any means. And if what they're going to do is save me lots of money overall in the long term, uh, on on brushes then you know that's a win as far as I'm concerned but here's the conditioner which we'll use later and you leave this in for 12 to 24 hours so you won't get to see the effect of this in the end but you'll uh, you'll see how it works so uh, yeah there we are so we'll leave that for the time being as I say we'll give that sort of 20 minutes or half an hour and we'll come back and see how well it's worked in a little bit and you can see that the brushes have just been sitting here while I've been nattering away about other things and uh, so I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them a wash and just kind of see how well they do. Actually, let's let's give them a bit of a run round on this uh, little palette just to see what we what we're doing there. Um, so this one looks pretty uh, clean. This is this is the brush which I said at the beginning was definitely the cleanest of all the brushes, uh, and there doesn't seem to be too much coming off that. So we'll give it a quick wash in the water here, and we'll try and form it into a point a little bit, and we'll see. Get some got some paper here for drying as well. Give that dry. Oh, you can. There's a little bit coming off. You can see that there actually. So, oh, perhaps if I put it under the camera, but you can see actually that 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 is looking like a good clean brush at that point. I mean, ignore the giant blob of paint halfway up the ferrule, but up the halfway up the handle. But that's looking pretty good at the moment. But as I say, that was the cleanest one that we had at the beginning. So that's good. I'm glad that it's cleaned up. But let's move on and see how it does on some of the, the more, uh, the dirtier ones. This one was only slightly dirtier. This was my second cleanest as we went along. So we're going to, oh, wow, look at that. You can see all of that coming out there. Just that like black that's painting onto there. So we'll uh, give that a wash in the water again. See how that goes. Again, try and form it into a point a little bit and give it a dry. Yeah, I mean, there is quite a bit of paint coming off this. What I might need to do actually is then give this a clean in the non-deep clean because uh, there is yeah still paint coming out of it. Come on, give me a focus. Um, yeah, so that's that has definitely cleaned up quite a bit, and it just does not want to focus on that, does it? There we go. Uh, but you can see there actually what that's done at the moment is it's kind of drawn that dirt down into the the bristles. Um, which is actually what really what we want. I know it, it looks then like the bristles are very dirty, but that's much better than it being up kind of under the metal bit of the ferrule because that's that's absolutely what kind of ruins brushes and ends up with the um, the bristles just pointing in different directions. So yeah, that's the. I mean, you could see there some of the dirt coming out of this brush, and that was one that was my second cleanest going in. So that's definitely an improvement. So let's see what we've got with some of the others. I've, I slightly dread to think now. I mean, I did say beforehand that these were these were the getting to the stage where they were almost kind of in the bin because they were just getting a bit useless. So let's um, see. Oh yeah, again, you can see that there is definitely some dirt coming out of this one. Um, okay, I've just broken that brush. <laughs> There's not a lot that a brush cleaner can do about that, unfortunately. Don't know my own strength. I've just snapped it. So uh, we might have to just leave that one. <laughs> Oh, good. Well, how you know I'm kind of working live on these things. But actually, I mean, obviously, the uh, yeah, Hulk smash. Uh, obviously, the uh, 
uh, obviously the this is no longer going to be much used to be as a brush after I snapped it in half. But again, you can see all of this stuff coming out here is amazing. It, it has done a uh, no, you can't because I'm off the screen. There you go. It's done an amazing job of actually drawing out that dirt. Um, I, I'm really impressed with the amount that that's done on that brush. That's uh, yeah, that's fantastic. But unfortunately, uh, I don't think any amount of cleaning product will rescue this brush that I've snapped. So um, <laughs> when the brush is just held together by the old paint, yes, unfortunately, that does appear to uh, be relatively close to uh, the truth with that one. So we'll let that one, put that one to one side. That's uh, that's probably not uh, not much use to me anymore. But this is another one which was basically um, kind of dried up. Um, and this one was essentially at the point of being useless. So let's see what we can uh, we can achieve with this one. Oh, it's it's softened the bristles up, and you can see there again the amount of uh, the amount of just kind of gunk coming out of the uh, the, the brush there. He's pretty amazing. Um, <laughs> Carlos points out the brush is not stronger than the sword, so it it, it looks like we've got an, a hierarchy of pen is mightier than the sword is mightier than the paintbrush. Uh, <laughs> important research we're doing. Uh, so let's give this again. We'll give this a clean and some water. Let's see where we go. Um, and uh, yeah, again, there's a lot coming out. Ooh. Oh, that's so kind. Thank you so much. Uh, just, yeah, subs being gifted left, right and center by the Bull GM. That's, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so now all of you can... Uh, 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 put in the uh, subscriber emote if you uh, if you so wish to do so. Oh man, look at that! All of that's come out of this brush. And as I say, I did um, I did know that this was a very dry and tired old brush, but look at that! That's uh, that's looking so good. I'm, I I that's that's not a hundred percent clean. I'm going to be honest. Um, but given that it was essentially useless beforehand, I think that's fantastic um, I'm, I'm really really pleased with that so um, yeah that that's amazing um, I think what I might do with some of these is actually give them another deep clean with this stuff but I ha having uh, having come into this kind of not sure what the outcome of this would be I am I am really impressed and I think instar can be really proud of the work they've done on this because it's it's pretty pretty amazing um, this is uh, a dry brush which are always very old and knackered um, so yeah you can see there that what's going on but we'll again we'll give it a wash and we'll see what we're doing um, yeah and we'll uh, hopefully I think with a dry brush because of the, the kind of uh, physical force put on it sometimes when you're using it it's probably never going to be back to like 100% shop fresh but we'll uh, We'll see how we're doing. So that's how it's looking at the moment. And what we'll do is we'll just kind of, oh, again, so much gunk coming out. Um, so yeah, I I am really impressed with this uh, this brush cleaner. So this is the um, deep clean that I've been using today. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, there's there's the deep clean, which you kind of sit in the uh, in the um, brush for a little while. There's the cleaner, which is is more used for kind of freshly painted brushes. Um, and there's also this uh, conditioner, which you use to kind of reshape and get them get them um, back. So what I will do after this is I will put some conditioner in these brushes so that they're, you know, getting a, getting back to usable. But yes, I, I would have no hesitation really now in recommending certainly the deep clean um, as a way of, of getting the brushes back. This one, I think, needs another go. Uh, I think I'll, uh, I'll dip this one in again and give it another clean. But this is this is the brush which I think I'm most impressed with, which is the one which was essentially unusable before, and you can see again th this might maybe benefit from another a clean, but it's in a much better situation than it was in before, so I'm very very happy with that. It'd be even better if it would actually focus on it, but there we are, wonderful, good. Well, I'm glad that, that was a successful experiment. I did uh, I did have some. Uh, concerns that I might do this and then you know half an hour later just be like well these brushes are identical but no I I, I think you can see there the effect it's had and again I'm not sponsored by Instar I don't have any you know associations with that other than the fact that I just really wanted to uh, you know get a chance to uh, do that so um, yeah I'm very pleased with the outcome <laughs>